So groundwater is our um, primary source for irrigation in Nebraska and we have to make sure that we have enough of it at once to irrigate our crops during the irrigation season or the summer. Um, so my research investigates how aquifers respond differently to pumping in different areas. Um, so as long as we have enough water to irrigate with, that makes us more food secure. But the reason why we are looking at the water level information is uh, to compare it to the AEM model and making sure that we can describe um, if an aquifer is unconfined or confined. Um, this is because these different kinds of aquifers will respond differently to pumping. So understanding and being able to map certain areas a little bit better. So uh, airborne electromagnetics or AEM, it's a little easier to say for short. Uh, the advantages are that it covers a large area compared to some of the other methods that we can use, especially other electromagnetic methods. So it covers a larger area and then it also covers a larger depth. It's a geophysical type of method and so there's a helicopter that flies uh, along flight paths and it ends up making a picture showing the resistivities of the earth and it can go pretty deep like I said. The first thing that I learned was I actually went to a, a workshop that Jesse helped run. It was uh, just AEM, uh, Geocene 3D, had a, the basics of using it and also it's a workshop so it, people uh, give suggestions on how the software can be improved and that kind of thing. So I, I learned a little bit the basics of how to use it over long periods of time to understand if it's if it we're looking at more of an unconfined system or a confined system. All right, so our research is going to be using two methods, the geophysics, which is the AEM data, alongside the groundwater level measurements, and we'll be analyzing both of these data sets and putting them together to understand and map the aquifer systems in Nebraska to ensure that we can manage the groundwater for irrigation better.